Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. And my name is Taylor Green, and this whole video actually is my, my is. patient. Uh, it's a very, very long one, so um, as always, go and grab yourself a cup of tea, cup yeah. of coffee, depending on what time of day it is. That's a water. Gin and tonic? Uh, gin and tonic. Uh, this is not gin and tonic, by the way, <laughs> this is water, but yeah, you could do that. Um, this, you can see straight away, we've got very, very soft wax in this ear canal. Now we would normally pop into the ear with the Zollner suction tube here yep. with this type of wax. But this particular patient for many, many years has, has really struggled with, with quite bad tinnitus, uh -huh. uh, especially in this side. So um, we, we were just physically unable to use micro suction full stop, not even the fine end in this case. Um, so this to date is my most, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, precise, preci um, can't think of the word. What's difficult. the word? Most difficult, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you'll kind of see what I mean by precise. Painstaking. <laughs> Painstaking. Uh, it, it, quite, a, quite a tricky one. Arduous. Yeah. Could, yeah, you could say that. Let me go with mini thesaurus out of his work. This is this like we're in that kind of stage of the day, you know, where we are. words are not really coming to our heads <laughs> at the moment. So. <laughs> Apologies if uh, the words are not yes. lining up with what we mean. We've been trading all morning, so our brains are a little bit fried, uh, a little bit. Um, yeah, it, I think the, the reason we didn't go in with uh, suction, even with the fine end, fine end yeah. does reduce the sound, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, but if you're going to put, you know, it's still going to be quite noisy, and we always try and avoid that noise, especially with tinnitus patients. Yeah. With your long-standing, persistent tinnitus, that's quite intrusive. If we can go in with a manual tool, we, we will do that with anyway. And the other reason I stuck with a manual tool is um, this particular patient has had microsuction before uh, but really found the tinnitus to be um, quite aggressive after the oh, after the procedure so mm. I, I just didn't really want to risk that to be honest um, so yeah I mean you will see at some point in this video you know we are actually I didn't think I was actually going to remove all of this in one go I thought we would have had to get the patient to yeah. use a bit of oil come back do it again it's we man oh, sorry to jump in oh, we sorry. we actually managed to um, remove a lot of this from down near the recess uh, which is why it's quite a uh, quite a very very um, oh, I can't think of the word again. Difficult. Um, yeah, very difficult. Um, Lots of precision. Removal, precision. Yeah. I, I really can't think of the word that's going to bug me now. <laughs> It'll come to you on the next <laughs> video. You know it well, yeah. probably will, yeah. This is a, I mean, I, I'm looking at this from a professional's point of view. This is a difficult one to do because you are really, really close to the eardrum. So, the, the, you know, just the amount, the, just how precise you need to be with your movements here. It's such a delicate removal because we've got to get the wax out, but it's, it's really, it's not an ideal consistency for, for, for curatage. I, I mean, you can get the softer wax out, but it, it's just such a difficult thing to do, especially that close to the eardrum. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I, I was, I edited this and I was watching it going, I'm like, how does just very impressive. It's, it's not a, fully clean ear canal afterwards, understandably. I'm not gonna be able to get every little bit of this out, but I tried my best and I got as much as I possibly could. Patient was much happier leaving yeah. um, today and obviously patient's gonna be a lot more relaxed at having this done again yeah. in the future. Um, but I have also recommended to the patient of more regular treatments, yeah. uh, just so this doesn't happen again. So we don't get it this far into the ear canal because you are deep in the bony portion of the ear canal there. Um, you know, you're right down there, so sensitive, that skin. So, I mean, fair play to you, Taylor, to try and get that off between the eardrum and that bony portion of the skin and not touch anything at all. To, to, to be honest, I surprised myself. Surprise that's, myself. That's, <laughs> yeah, I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find anyone else on YouTube that could do something as good as that, I've got to be honest. Oh, it's... Yeah, it was it was a super super tricky one to be completely honest, and I think this is towards the end of the day as well. So at this point, I was I was almost kind of <laughs> your arms are a bit Yeah, I'm surprised I wasn't starting to shake at this point. <laughs> you've got to, I mean to get down that deep, you've got to have a very very steady hand. Coffee doesn't help. No. <laughs> no. It's coming away nicely though. You've managed to do a good job there. Fair play to you. Was it this point? 
I think it was this part of the wax removal where I wasn't sure whether I was actually going to complete it. Mm. If it was this point, I think it was this point. I mean, do you tend to advise your patient as you're going through uh, as to where that you are, how how it's going? Do you give them a kind of maybe not a blow by blow, but oh, that, that sorry, yeah, the is so yeah. close. So that that you can that grayish sort of um, area behind the jobs and horn. That's actually the eardrum. Mm. This is how far we are into the ear canal with this manual tool. Now, I was very lucky in this case that the patient's ear canal was relatively of a, what we would class as a standard size yeah, ear canal. So it wasn't happens. narrow, it wasn't bendy. So we were really lucky here that I had plenty of room to maneuver around. It, it would have been near enough impossible for us to do in one go yeah. if, if, that, if this wasn't the case. Because that back section of the wax, you can see. I mean, oh, we're taking this front section. Well, that back section of the wax there almost looks like it's just, just off the eardrum, just by a mill or so. It doesn't look like yeah, very and, big and, distance. And that uh, that's the bit that I thought I wasn't going to be able no. to to remove. There, there was a tiny bit of it left, but we've actually managed to remove, <laughs> remove most well. of it. So we've. Uh, yeah, it's quite quite surprised myself. And don't forget, guys, if you do have any problems with your ears and you want to come and see these super talented Mr. Oh, Taylor Green. There you go. Talented. Talented. What do you it's even got that out? Not many people could do that, I feel <laughs> uh, Super talented Mr. Taylor Green, uh, or myself. Uh, you can come along, you can book yourself an appointment <laughs> or, or me. You can come along uh, to our clinic. Just check a link out to our website in the bio or the channel page, depending on which platform you're watching this on. Uh, you will find a link in there. You can fill a contact form in or give us a buzz. You can see where our clinics are located as well. Uh, we've got lots of people asking you know, where you're located. It's all in there, guys. Just have a little look and you can see whether we're close enough for you to come along and get it done with us. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going. Oh, if you like the video as well, don't forget to like, heart, share, follow. Like, heart, what's there? There, that's a heart, there you go, heart. Well, your hands are uh, bigger. What's Shay? <laughs> uh, I don't know, do Shay. Shay, follow, subscribe. <laughs> follow would be difficult. We can walk around and follow one another. Yeah. Hours, but, but it's coming away well. That looked really strange though, to be fair. They would, that would look a tiny bit odd. So we're actually not far from the end of the removal, but I think it's this deeper section that takes me the longest to do, just because of how, um, like I said, precise we have to be with the tool. You can't go too high with the jobs and horn because it's where the bony portion is, uh, you know, against the eardrum. You can, well, you can't really see it now, but you can see that white, um, it, that's that's actually a bone. Yeah, so that, that's so a bone behind the eardrum. It's the handle so that, of the malleus. So the handle of the malleus. And obviously, you know, we don't really want to be touching up against anything. Well, we don't even want to be touching the eardrum at this point, but... The difficulty with this, it's sticky as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's not like a, it's not hard. If it was a hardened up piece, it would probably be a tiny bit easier. Not massively so, but it would be a tiny bit easier. But the fact it's so soft and sticky, uh, this is going to be the telltale piece now. How does this, oh, maybe next piece actually. So at, at this point, I'm trying to very, very sort of finely brush up against the surface of this wax because any deeper in and we we risk um you know causing some discomfort to mm. the patient um it almost kind of if we touch the ear canal that far into the ear the only way i can describe it is is almost like a pinch mm. um it's a it's a really sh sharp sudden pinch that the patient feels this this is, this tough. is it this is this is not easy so i'm almost trying to angle the jobs and horn here, just to, to to get into that recess. Now I've actually managed to remove quite a bit of it there, which I was quite surprised by, to be completely honest. That, that is tough. That is I, tough. I, I was checking with the patient the whole time throughout this process with me being this far into the ear. And I we always say to the patients, uh, everyone that comes in, mm. you know, if you, you know, if we say to the patient, if you are experiencing any discomfort at all at any point, doesn't yeah. matter how far I am into the ear, tell us to stop. Yeah. So, you know, we're constantly checking with the patient. That's, that's good. That little sideways scoop in motion just to try and pull. Yeah. From some of the recess there. So we're very slowly uncovering more and more of this eardrum now. And what you did there is left some of the wax because this wax is super sticky. Sometimes it's a bit like rolling a snowball. Uh, if you get a little bit, sometimes it'll attach itself and you'll be able to pull the next sticky piece yeah. away. 
so sometimes it is handy just to leave a little bit on the end of the jobs and horn, isn't it? Just just to get that little bit of a lift. But that's deep because that is, that is really. What's that? That's the uh, anterior recess, isn't it? Yeah. So it's yes. really really wedged down into the anterior recess. I'm just trying to get as much as I possibly can at this point. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, how are we going to get out of that corner? I think what I, I think what I do in a second is I think I almost sort of follow the the shape of the ear canal, but almost kind of twist the. Yeah, you can see me twisting the jobs yep. and holding this slightly, just trying nice. to shift that around slightly. Nice. Oh, this is oh, this is why it's painstaking because it's not grabbing anything else. No. It's literally just coming away in tiny little pieces. But the thing is, like, obviously, you know, I know all of us audiologists on YouTube get comments. You know, why didn't you go in with this? Why didn't you go in with that? And you know, fair play, you guys. You know, you're asking the right questions. You know, why didn't you choose a different tool if you think it was more appropriate? Here, there is no tool that'd be able to get in there that you'd feel would be more appropriate than this jobs and it's got that rounded edge it's not going to not going to be sharp edges like the saint bart talk or the rosen inserter i think both of those tools would be no good to try and get through this soft sticky wax you would just pull straight to the middle of it but at least with the jobs and horn here it's just scooping those sort of edge pieces out isn't it yeah i think i i think i've suggested a, a six monthly Follow up for this particular mm. patient doesn't look like it's anything out of the ordinary other than just a wax build up. But yeah, patient's very happy to come back and see us again. Um, was actually noticing a difference as well after removing this. So even though we, you know, we've t it's taken us a little while to to take this out, I've, I've understandably had to take my time. You know, yeah. we can't rush anything like this, no. especially this far into the ear. Patient's hearing better. Tinnitus hasn't changed. I wasn't expecting that, um, but. Yeah, um, I'm quite happy with the outcome you, of this, this one, to, be, is, to be honest. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I mean, it depends on what happens with this last piece as well now, as because that's that looks to me like that's just going to... You've done a good job of scooping that out. <laughs> I'm on edge of my seat. I'm the one who's done this. I know, too. I'm I on was, the edge of my seat. <laughs> I remember when I edited this video in for today, and I was looking at this going, how the heck did he get it in there? Because I've, I've, you know what, I think I I would struggle, I think, to have got that out of that place. I think a lot of the other guys on YouTube, I think, you know, Connor O'Neill and all that, I think they would have, I think they probably would have struggled a bit as well. I think they would have found that tough. Yeah, they would have given it a good go as well. Yeah. It's all you can do, really. <laughs> Try your best. Yeah. Let's have a look, see if we can scoop it out of that area there. So I did edit this, but I can't remember what the outcome was. I can't remember how much we got away, but... I don't... I was going to say, I don't think it's much more than this piece that comes oh, out look here. Look at that, though. That's a good piece to come away. So that is out of that recess now as well, because you can actually see the staining at the bottom of the eardrum there where that wax was, was resting against it. Go on, Tate. Look at that. <laughs> Fair play. Here it comes. Yep. That was tough. That was a very, very tough removal. I think the re well, what we mentioned earlier about the you know patient having a not so good experience in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the main reasons why they kind of put off having it done. Yeah. Um, so I, if I can remember, I think the patient had mentioned it's been a couple of years um, since they've actually last had any form of wax removal. So yeah, we've just recommended a six month, you know, because for the future, you know, we're always going to need to use a manual tool here. But hopefully we've taken, you know, we, we've, we've stopped that from kind of building up in that recess there now. Wax, I mean, generally will, you know, doesn't build up that far into the ear anyway. I mean, wax will only get produced near the entrance of the ear. But there's normally other things that can cause the wax to get that far into the ears. So, you know, um, like someone jumping in a pool, for example, of water, mm. you know, that can push some wax in further. Um, the, you know, the, the standard sort of everyone uses cotton buds, you know, we mm. advise against it. But... With a lot of people, no matter how many times you, uh, yes. you tell people, they still do it. We know you still do <laughs> we it, We know guys. you still do it. 
But looking at that, I mean, that, that is looking so much better. And then because you've cleared that bottom section, you know, on the past tense, you've cleared that away. But you can see the staining where that was attached. So fair play. Yeah, this is the last bit I think we're getting away now, guys. There's not much, there's not much more I'm physically uncomfortably going to be able to get away at this point. In fairness, but there's not a lot left in this. <laughs> so you've pretty got, much cleared it. You've yeah. got that out. So I mean, the patient could use a bit of olive oil or something like that if they yeah. wanted to, just to just to take any slightly smaller, looser bits out. Yeah. But to get out safely like that, fair play to you. Skills. Oh, still going. Still. Skills, skills. Taylor Green. Skills. skills. Tackers. <laughs> what's that? Tackers. Yeah, what's that? From old school um, soccer game. Oh. Yeah. So, show me age now, are they? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> It was a while ago. There we go. I think even at this point, I, I was getting quite tired myself <laughs> at this point. So it's I'd... difficult because your arms are up there the whole time, aren't they? Don't yeah. forget, we got both arms up in the air. We're not supported by anything because you can't be. Because if you're supported by something and a patient moves, they're going to move on to you. So you've always got your arms sort of free free to move very quickly. So there's a yeah. quick patient move, like for instance, with Arnold's reflex. I went through that on a short video the other day. Yes, yeah. uh, you know, if you, if you get the Arnold's reflex, patient coughs, flinches, anything, you've got to be able to move with that patient. So your arms are kind of free floating, if you like. Yeah, it does get quite tight, especially it towards does. the end of the day, as we said, you know, yeah. you'd, you'd start feeling it like in your shoulders and your back and. <laughs> yeah. There we are, just tidying up these last little bits here. And I think that's pretty much done. The, there is technically a ruler shot, but there's no ruler. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a shot. It's a, it's a paper shot. <laughs> it was so messy. There was just too much of it for me. To, uh, look at that. Wow. So uh, we've pretty much filled a whole That's impressive. tissue full of, it's full of wax. It's like a flyby and everything. Yeah, you can see my fingers on the side there as well. <laughs> there we are. God, that was a fair old amount, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Tough quite, one, everybody. Yeah, been, impressed myself. Yeah, you did well with that one. Fair play, well. you did really, really well. <laughs> Uh, well, guys, thank you very much for watching our video today. And uh, we'll meet myself and the lovely Mr. Taylor Green. We'll see you again real soon. Um, but as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.